And welcome back everyone, welcome back to Broken Sword 5. Let's carry on with the game, shall we? Because last time, uh, Pearl told us that there might be something here. I think, I don't remember, it's been, uh, it's been a day. Um, let's talk to Pearl again, actually. Maybe she wants a cookie. Hi, Pearl. Hello, dear. Hi, George. Hi, Duane. No one asked you, Duane. What can you tell me about Santa Cova? Well, dear, they call it the Chapel of the Holy Grotto. It was built directly into the mountain itself in 1696. It survived the Napoleonic Wars, mudslides, civil war. But the chapel is still standing today. Or a re Oh, yeah. Miracle. Yes. Definitely a miracle that it's still standing here. What else can we ask her about? What do you make of this? What a nice family. Yeah, I do believe they were. Most of them are dead. Happy. What do you make of this? It looks like an Ouroboros. Okay. Oh, you recognize it? Let me show you something else. Can you tell me anything about this painting? <laughs> Nothing, dear. Apart from the obvious Gnostic connotations, of course. Of course. What? You know, the Dominicans. All those Gnostic saints. Doubting Thomas, Judas, and you see the woman in the red cloak? The infamous Mary Magdalene herself. A lady in red. Oh my god. That's enough now, Dwayne. You know my feelings about her. Pearl knew her Gnostic onions, all right. Then there's the Ouroboros, of course. Something special about it? Well, if I remember rightly, there was an Ouroboros right here in this chapel. Back in the 30s and 40s, a chapel was renovated. The workmen uncovered numerous symbols carved in the rock. Amongst them was a fine Ouroboros. Ouroboros. But that's amazing. So, where is it? Oh, it's not there now. Great. Oh. It was considered blasphemous, so they plastered over it. Sweetheart, I think it's time for us to go. The road to enlightenment waits for no woman. Tis the pilgrim's lot, George. It was so nice to see you again. And meet your girlfriend. We're not... Take this radio, Nico. Never know when you might need it. Uh, keep an eye on our boy George here. Poor little lost lamb. I'm not... Don't worry, this little lamb's in safe hands. Bon voyage. Bye-bye, dears. Bon voyage, indeed. So I guess we're done with them. See ya! Wouldn't want to be ya. Don't forget to ride that walk. Nico, don't even start. Little lamb? <laughs> Let's focus on the task in hand, shall we? Little lamb. Okay. This Ouroboros that Pearl mentioned. You're right. We need to find it. Great. Leave it up to me. It's no problem. God, I swear we could smash these plaster things. Come on, smash it! I hoped this was the right thing to do. Yes! Finally! Yes! Smashy! <gasps> hey, Nico! I found the Ouroboros! Success! That was easy. I knew it. Good job, Jules. Good job, little lamb. Pearl was right. The plaster had covered an Ouroboros. How lucky that we stroke in exactly the right spot. I pushed the Ouroboros, but nothing happened. All right. Great. What else is in this room? Actually, I want to go to the place uh, that Pearl was blocking. Maybe we can pick up something from there. Like a mop. Or some candles. Yeah, just pick one. There's loads of candles. Mmm, delicious. Now, maybe we can put the candle in the Ouroboros thing? 
Or Boris. Oh, Boris. Candle. Do it. That wouldn't work. Damn it. Maybe we can use it in the recess. Maybe not. Maybe on the Madonna? Nope. I needed to try something else. Hmm. Are you sure? Oh, there we go. I just misclicked. Now what? I placed a candle in the recess above which Puritas had been carved. Well, it looks pretty pure now. Will it work now as a button? I pulled the Ouroboros, but it wouldn't budge. Crap. Maybe we can use our medallion thing. The medallion matched the Ouroboros in the wall. No shit. I'd placed a candle into the recess. Oh, it's not lit, probably. Do it. Yes, we got music! What was that noise? What? Wow, you sure went crazy on those matches, George. Did you use like 20 of them to light that candle? Whoa! I knew it! Another secret passageway! Amazing, Charles! How did you do it? Just another case of the old Stobart magic, I guess, Nico. It, uh... It looks a little dark in there. Oh, no. Are you scared, Charles? Little lamb? Of course not! Just worried about you tripping, that's all. Don't worry about us. One short and very dark climb later. Whoa, this is one dark cave. Whoa! It's not that dark. <laughs> Crap. It's the door that worries me, Georges. Well, I'm sure the door will open again if we give it a minute. No need to panic. About a minute later. Now we panic. Help! I gotta say, Nico, you're pretty calm about this. Traveling with you, Georges? I've got used to this kind of thing. If I panicked every time a door shut behind us, probably forever, well... You're right. What was I thinking? You see if you can get the door open, and I'll go check out the... Dark, darkness. Evil-smelling cave. Ah, yes. It has that evil smell. Fumbling around in the dark wasn't going to be fun. But heck, I'd spent a lifetime doing it, so what was new? Yeah, that's true. You guys are so calm about it. It's like, hey, we might get suffocated or die in here because we can't exit. There's nothing abnormal. What else is, what do we have in the dark? Figment of the imagination. I had no idea what might be lurking in the darkness. Wall. I can see him a little bit. The wall felt like it had something carved into it. Okay, tall thing. The thing had branches like a tree. What else? Smooth stone, eh? Touch it. It felt cold and smooth, like worn stone. Cold and smooth. Big thing. Hey. It was cold to the touch and felt like carved rock. So we're basically feeling the wall. Big thing, an identified thing. It was a small round object made of fabric with a musty smell. Squidgy hole. <laughs> Squidgy hole. <laughs> Stony thing. Hard thing. Oh my god, it's getting intense. It felt cold and smooth, with some indentations along the surface. Ah, oh, this is... <laughs> bottomless pit. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> we got everything in For here. For a moment, I imagined falling forever in the dark. But it was just my imagination running wild. The floor was solid. So there is no bottomless pit. Yep, it's gone. <laughs> so let's explore the squidgy hole. I could feel something smooth and spherical with clumps of what felt like fur or hair. This is an interesting room. We have an identified big, big things and hard things and holes that are squidgy and fuzzy round things. This must be a medieval 
Sex toy room, probably. Hmm. It was a small stuffed animal of some kind. My God. Short-haired. I guessed it was a tailless squirrel, or perhaps a small badger. They were disgusting in the mil Middle Ages. Imaginary malicious denizen. It was just my mind playing tricks in the dark. Yep. Stop playing tricks, mind. Stone object. It was stone, with a recess in it, and, ugh, an oily liquid in it. There was some kind of thin twine in the middle of it, too. Huh, that sounds like an oil candle thing. Maybe we can light it up with our one remaining match. No pressure, by the way. Hey, Nico, I think I found some light! Oh, success! Is that a body? Whoa! It must be Ganon! Ramon said he disappeared while searching the mountains for the tabula. Fuck. So this is where he ended up. Dead in a cave. Like us, soon. Hole in the head, dead. Decomposing for decades, dead. And on closer inspection, I'd even say, blown your own brains out, dead. Okay, Georges, I get the point. What is this place? Who knows, but look at the Gnostic symbols. You're right. The colors, the trees. But who is she? Well, it looks like the Virgin Mary, but I don't think it is. What do you mean? The red robes and that whole off-the-shoulder look? It must be Mary Magdalene, of course. Marquez told me that the Gnostics revered her. This place... It's some kind of Gnostic shrine. There's got to be something to release that door. Maybe amongst these carvings. But if it was that obvious, don't you think Ganon would have found it? Yeah, so we're facing quite the problem here, but nothing out of the norm. Although, this uh, Ganon dude, probably the original one, um, yeah, he kind of died here. He killed himself, probably. And, uh, yeah grim aspect of our future, isn't it, Nico? That's okay. We'll get out of here, somehow. Getting up close and personal to Ganon's leathery corpse wasn't pleasant, but we had to figure out how to get out of there. Ganon had certainly been busy before he blew his brains out. I wonder what he'd been up to. Besides blowing his brains out? Not much. Probably doing some reading while stuck in this cave. Nico! What? Nico! Is this what I think it is? Oh my god! So Genan did find it! It's so small, so innocent looking. Why would Simeon call it evil? Why so many deaths for this? And why go to such lengths to keep it hidden? Unless it is as genuinely dangerous as Simeon claimed. The question now is, what do we do with it? The truth to the grave, eh? So he did find the tabula, and it's a lot smaller and more innocent looking than I thought. I guess that finding the tabula was the easy part. Figuring out its purpose was a different proposition. Definitely. Look at those symbols. Mm. A row of symbols were etched onto the top bar of the tabula. Okay. Oh, there's a serpent eating the other serpent, I think? Maybe. The tabula was engraved with a number of curious-looking symbols. I don't know, just because it's like red marble or something, maybe it makes it evil to the Catholics. What else did he find? It was an old water canteen. The contents had long since been drunk. Yeah. It was an old flashlight. It looked like it died around the same time as Ganon. Ex luce veritas. Out of light, truth. I'd seen the same words on the fresco at Castel de Sons. The photograph was of an ancient clay tablet. Ganon had written on it. Someone, presumably Ganon, had taken the time to translate the inscription. At a glance, the inscription seemed to relate to the exploits of someone called the Sun King. The symbol on the tablets looked similar to the ones etched into the face of the Tabula Veritatis. The Tabula Veritatis, yes. If Ganon's translation is correct, the symbol Ka-Ip-Ha 
means burning enemy cities. Whoever this Sun King guy was, he certainly had a point to prove. Yeah, seems like a nice fellow. So we're probably going to have to decipher what it says on the tabula. Nice, Ganon. Doing all the work for us. It had to be Ganon. In which case, the body had been there for decades. There was a bullet hole in the side of his head. Just like us, he'd been trapped. He'd chosen suicide. To be fair, he, ha he wouldn't have lived until this time anyway. So, he just didn't want to stay here and uh, starve to death or something. Can I have your map, please, Ganon? Sorry. I prized the map out from under the arm of the corpse. It looked like Ganon had scrawled some kind of last testament onto this map. My friends, I know that you will eventually find me, but by then it will be too late. I have decoded the tabula, and I know our destiny lies in paradise. The key to the power of God is in our hands. I die secure in the knowledge that you will now be able to complete my work. Tell my family that I died doing my duty, that I surrender my life gladly to the cause. In the light of the day, these words will fade, like our souls. But rest assured that when they do, their echoes will guide us to where we will meet once again. I'm not sure, but it looks like crafty old Ganon left a secret message in his testament. He did, didn't he? Some letters are, uh, are bold. Uh, I don't know. I read Ganon. My friend. I, uh, I no. The Just read this, for fuck's sake. But rest. But look at this. Wolfram Mining. That rings a bell. I picked up the old gun. It was too corroded and rusty to ever be fired again. Damn it, we never get working guns in these games, do we? It was a fedora, just like the one in Ganon's trunk back at the castell. The years hadn't been kind to it. Yeah, we can't pull off a, an Indiana Jones right here because this looks horrible. What else do we have in here? We must escape somehow. Or we could just make love, Nico, all day. The carved figure had once been green. I wondered if it was a representation of Jehovah. Probably. And this was Lucifer. Blue paint was peeling from the carved figure. I wondered if it was an image of Lucifer. And this is the tabula. A large carving of the tabula veritatis symbol. All the other figures in the scene seemed to be supplicating themselves to it. A group of figures looked up towards the tabula. They were all colored red. I'd seen something like it before. So it kind of represents the light of man, red, like we figured out in the hidden chapel in the mansion in Spain. The pillar had been carved into the shape of a tree and painted green. I knew it represented the tree of life. What about the other one? The pillar had been sculpted into a tree and then painted blue. I knew it was supposed to be the Tree of Knowledge. There were ancient scratches on the plinth, as if someone had moved the statue. I'm sure that this is Mary Magdalene. The red robes! It all makes sense! The Madonna would be wearing blue! So, who's the child? Well, according to the Gnostic Gospels, when Mary kissed the lips of Jesus, she... Uh. Oh, I see. Yep. Miracle! So the Gnostics think that the suckling child is... I guess so. I guess so. That's Jesus' baby. Mm-hmm. I gave the statue a push, and it turned anti-clockwise. What did that do? I, I don't see a lever that we can push. Hmm. I gave the statue another shove. Shove it. What is this doing? I don't see anything that we can push while moving this. Hmm. Again? Huh. 
Well, that seemed to do diddly squat. Anything that we can do to the door? The stone door had sealed us in. No way would we have been able to prize it open. What about going up? You know, you, where you can see light. Just destroy that part. And also, for a man that, you know, died here, I, I, I didn't see any blood on that map from his brains exploding from his head. And you'd think he'd try to, like, scratch at the door and leave blood all over it, but no. He was very, very, very clean while, while blowing his brains out. Alright, so what does this do? That would be pointless. Pointless, eh? Anything we can do with the light? The ornate lamp. Yep, the lamp wants, uh, wants some more. I didn't want to burn that. I don't know, maybe we could heat it up and burn someone. Huh. There must be something else we can do in here. Ex luce veritas. Out of light, truth. Out of light, truth. Maybe. Just maybe. I didn't... Not burning, but um, just putting on, on the light to see if there's any hidden message. I didn't want... I don't want you to burn it, man. Oh, filigree frame. The circle of iron was set into an ornate frame that covered the oil lamp. So maybe we can put stuff there? Simeon's papers, maybe? That was n Never gonna happen. Never ever. When I moved the map close to ah. the flame, something started to change. The writing on the map started to react to the heat. Well, there I'll we be darned. What is it? At a guess, the locations on the map might match up with the ones he's marked on this photograph. Interesting. If this letter matched the one on Ganon's translation, this must be the location of the Sun City. In Mesopotamia. If this letter is the same location as the one marked D on Ganon's translation, this must be Sunset Mountain. If the letter E matches the one on Ganon's translation, this must be the location of the Young Cities. Young Cities, eh? If the letters match the ones on Ganon's translation, this must be the Mountain Kingdom. If this letter matched the one on Ganon's translation, this must be the location of the Three Rivers region. Yep, I see three rivers. It's pretty accurate. So, uh, we have... where, where, this? Ganon's photograph. No, I want to combine it. That was... N How do I combine things? I want to combine the photo with the map. It's not letting me, though. I was sure there were no more secrets to reveal. How do you know that? Interestingly, <laughs> interestingly, I can combine it with the biscuit. That wasn't quite right. Why? But I can also combine it with the tabula veritatis. I wondered if Ganon's notes on the photograph might help me decode the tabula. Ah, oh, crap. I hate these kind of puzzles. The glyphs on the tablet vertices displayed across the screen. Select a glyph, then choose what you believe to be the correct translation from the words on the right-hand side. 36 words to choose from. And 3 sits 12. <sighs> Gain ma managed to translate the glyphs on the clay tablet, which are in the same language as those on the tabula. Translation just shows at the bottom of the screen. All you... You have all you need to translate the glyphs. Thanks, game, for telling me that I have all I need. Great. B. She, she translates as Mountain Kingdom. Well, where... Ganon had marked this that? symbol with the letter B. The Mountain Kingdom was likely to be the place marked with the letter A on Ganon's map. Okay. Uh, th this looks fairly similar to that symbol. Right? B? She, she. Ganon had marked this symbol with the letter B. The Mountain Kingdom was likely to be the place marked with the letter A on Ganon's map. Uh... If Ganon's tra... Ganon had marked this symbol in red with the letter A. I wondered if this Sun City place is the area marked B on Ganon's map. I don't get it. 
begin west i don't know oh my god there's so many if Ganon's translation is correct the symbol la ha shi rep yeah. Ganon had more mountain I wondered kingdom if they mountain do i have a mountain mountain kingdom there we go i think maybe i don't know I think I'll leave it for the for next episode, guys, because this is gonna take me a little while to decipher, and I don't want you to, uh, I don't want you to watch me do this for like 20 minutes. I'll see you in the next episode, and thank you so much for watching.